Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Cat's Track. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing this with your friends. Today's episode is with my friend, Laura McIntyre. Laura was born in Calgary and is so happy to have a great network of family and friends here. Her dad moved to Calgary from Saskatchewan to start his career in oil and gas. Many great stories like that. He encouraged Laura to enter the field, and she's very thankful for that. Well, we share that, Laura. Her husband also works in the industry as a drilling superintendent. They are proud parents of two children, ages five and eight, a very busy house. Besides their loved ones, Laura is most passionate about networking and misses the in-person events. She also loves traveling and taking adventures with her family. Laura's volunteer time is a parent council member and as the corporate partnership director or lead for Direct Her, a not-for-profit network that provides low-cost education to women with the goal of increasing their confidence and knowledge to take their seat at the boardroom table, and a very important initiative. Friends, you'll find her full bio attached. Laura, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate uh, that introduction and, and the time today. It's really great to see you. It's so good to see you too. It's been so long. <laughs> I know. I was trying to think when was the last visit and, and when we first met back in early 2000. That's nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah. Time flies, right? <laughs> well, I know. And even just looking back, it's always a reflection on the career when you met people at certain stages of, yeah. of your career development. So it's cool to see the relationships are still there. Well, I'm glad you're here with me today, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Are you ready for the questions? I am ready. Excellent. Okay. Why do you do what you do? Oh, why do I do what I do? Well, I mean, I feel very fortunate to have found this role at Accelaware. My background, as you mentioned, oil and gas, an engineer, went to university in Calgary, and obviously kind of just rolled into it, found some good roles at uh, uh, Suncor and then Devon spent roughly six years at Suncor and then eight at Devon. And they were always on the thermal, heavy oil, oil, oil sands projects, um, multiple different roles. Had my kids while I was there, so it was nice to kind of just see different aspects of the business. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to get connected with Accelaware. They were looking for a person for their advisory board. They were building up uh, strength kind of on the industry knowledge side. And then once I became uh, a board advisory board member, I, they were talking about needing a project engineer. I'm like, hmm, this sounds like a really great opportunity. And so I kind of put up my hand and, and uh, yeah, so right away joined the company and uh, it was such a big change for me, having always worked at these larger corporations, um, really you know, not the defined process, um, kind of just very informal, but really hands-on can-do attitude with this company. So for me, being involved in innovation technology has been really exciting. I'd say it's definitely frustrating at times because you just want to get it done. And, you know, you kind of, you're always constantly learning things and revisiting what uh, your, your prototypes look like. So it's, it's a cool part of the business. And um, for me, it's, it's really exciting uh, time for our industry. Uh, I hear you. I think so too. I think there's some, because we've gone through what we have, it's very similar to other previous times where things get really rough and they stay rough for a long time. And then we get innovative and wow, it's it getting exciting now. Definitely. I, I mean, I think our industry is obviously, um, you know, we've been so successful for so many years, but obviously we're seeing that we're somewhat forced to change and, and take bigger risks. And obviously with new um, regulations coming in, things are just becoming more difficult, but I see our industry is up for the challenge. So I love to see that. I'm with you, Laura. Thank you so much. That's excellent. What about your top three things that you'd like to share with us today? Um, top three things, like for me, I see, well, you mentioned um, the women in industry and just the promotion there. That's something that I've always been passionate about, um, really keen to have women's networks within companies. But now I'm seeing these new kind of niche ideas popping up. Um, the one that I'm involved in is called Direct Her. And so that's in educating women, giving them tools to try and find their place on the board um, because I'd say historically women are not great at putting their hand up and saying, 
you know, I'm, I'm the perfect fit for that. And so just having that extra knowledge and confidence has been huge. So that's been a really cool um, thing that I've been working on. Uh, also, I see, you know, as we talked a bit about with innovation, it's um, ESG is such a hot topic right now. Um, so everyone's trying to figure out what that means and, you know, ESG reporting, what makes sense for my company. But to me, it's all about, you know, stakeholder value and also seeing, you know, what can your company do differently is, is a big thing that I'm always kind of pushing for these days. Um, last thing, you know, I always kind of say, I'm kind of jumping around here, but uh, be as authentic as you can. For me, that's been one of my pillars, and especially in the past, I'd say a couple of years, maybe it coincides with the change to this new company is, I think you'll find your most happiness and kind of confidence and just calmness within your role if you can just be yourself and not always trying to feel like you're having to sell yourself and sell something. So uh, to me, that's kind of been a bit of a game changer personally. Well, you've always been authentic to me and to everyone around you. So bravo. Thank you for that. <laughs> and the new frontier or good news story that you'd like to share with us. Uh, well, so with Acceloware, uh, we have our pilot that is now, um, as I mentioned, we're moving into execution mode here. So it's been a long road for Acceloware, um, just from first development and idea of uh, using radio frequency heating to um, develop reservoir uh, thermal heavy oil and oil sands. That idea came about in 2015. So since then, the team's been working on technical design concepts, and we're trying to find a location to do this, which you would think would be an easy feat, but for us, that was incredibly difficult. Um, we found companies are just, you know, very, they have their long range plans set out. It's the thought of just putting in this extra well in um, with some new technology. The risk there was, was tough to convince uh, companies to do it. So we were fortunate to have a partnership now with Broadview Energy our pilots in Marwain, it's out near Lloyd Minster. And so the nice thing with this property, it's all, all year access, uh, close to services. And also the reservoir there is highly delineated. So we will be drilling this well um, later this year. We're thinking roughly Q2, Q3, and then the pilot will be operating for six months. So that's 100% our focus and, and I'm in charge of that, which you know, it was scary, but also uh, pretty exciting. Oh, you're going to rock it out like you always do. I'm very <laughs> impressed. And bravo, Laura. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time and congratulations sure. on your great success. Oh, well, thank you very much. Great to see you, Catherine. Keep doing what you're doing for industry as well. Thanks, Laura. Always good to see you. Everyone, that was my dear friend, Laura McIntyre. Please check her, check her out, follow her, like, share, tell the whole world all the great work she's doing. Thank you so much for joining us on Cast Track, and we'll see you next time.